Welcome back to the new bourbon duo. Um, I'm Jill. I'm Kai. Um, we, this is our second video, so it's going to be a little smoother, I hope. Um, today we're just going to do one tasting, um, and that is going to be the Elijah Craig. And I'm going to let Kai tell you about that. Uh, Elijah Craig small batch comes from the Heaven Hill Distillery. Um, it is bottled at 94 proof, uh, barrel entry proof 125. Aged about eight years, uh, non-age stated. It is a blend of some different ages. Might be a seven to nine. Um, they go all the way up to. Um, there's an Elijah Craig 21 that's super elusive. Elijah Craig 18 exists. Uh, Elijah Craig barrel proof is at 12 years, and then like I said, this about eight years. It's a great daily drinker. Um, you can find it for as low as $25. It's usually around here, about $29.99. Um, so around that $30 price point, I think it's a, I think it's a good pickup. Uh, we're gonna give some notes. We're gonna start with the nosing. Okay. Always give it a swirl. Always. Oh no, that smells great. That is brown sugar. baking spices, mom's in the kitchen making dessert for Thanksgiving. <laughs> it really is just delicious. It's very sweet. I usually like a sweeter, sweeter bourbon and I think it's definitely, it's up there. Um, kind of like with, uh, with the Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace might be a little bit sweeter. Now, for me, this is the first, um, as we say, plain flavor Elijah Craig that I've had. Um, I've had store picks. I've had um, the barrel proof, uh, the toasted Elijah Craig. Um, but I've never had just the plain flavor Elijah Craig. So um, this is I think store, much better than I expected. Yeah, store yeah. picks are always a grab on Elijah Craig, especially if they're around that 30, maybe even 35, 36 dollars. Um, they're they're one of my one of my all-time favorites. Mm. I can taste that that brown sugar that toffee um, yes. sweetness. That is just delightful. Mm -hmm. um, Elijah Craig sweetness is more of that caramel vanilla sweetness. Mm -hmm. Caramel vanilla is on so many things, uh, bourbon related because of that new charred oak barrel. But I think that Elijah Craig and Heaven Hill uh, with their low ride mash bill really push that. Um, so this is Heaven Hill's rye bourbon mash bill is only about a 10, 10 rye. Um, it's like 78 corn, 10 rye, 12 barley. Um, it is, uh, it, they only have one rye bourbon mash bill. So everything from, um, from like a Fighting Cock, which is a three year to the JW Dant, uh, the JTS Brown or Bottled and Bond at four years. Uh, Elijah Craig, and then you go up and you've got um, Henry McKenna bottled and bond 10 year. Um, they only, it, it's all about the location and the age um, at Heaven Hill. So uh, when I've talked to them about it, they've said it's location, 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 and that's how they decide what, uh, what becomes what. And they, um, they also, they, I know they taste barrels before they blend them together. Um, to decide what has that Elijah Craig profile. And while we're enjoying this very delicious bourbon, um, to give just a little background on us, we are in Indiana. Um, some things we can find super easily and some things 
we can't find at all. No. Um, we were just talking, we can get, um, like we can find Buffalo Trace at Walmart for $25. Um, but it, there's, we don't get Weller, um, not a lot. Right. <clears throat> Um, there, there's a lot of things that Indiana just doesn't get, and uh, well, that's Craig's about do. everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Twenty nine ninety nine now, and it just went up recently in the last year. I remember going to the store and saying, "When did this become twenty nine instead of twenty four or twenty five? Um, but like a Henry McKenna bottle and bond, very hard to find uh, around here. Uh, yeah, and. So we're also from different parts of the state, and he can find a lot more stuff than I can. Um, I'm more central, um, he's more north, and I've never seen a Henry McKenna on the shelf, um, and he's found, what, three, four? Three maybe, yeah. Three maybe, no. He's... Right place at the right time, <laughs> right place at the right time, and build relationships with your shop yes. owners. Yeah, that's 100%. Um, I've gotten a couple things. I have a, a store that I go to pretty often and I He'll hold I don't want to say hold but he'll pull some things out and go. Do you want this? Are you interested? Um, and it's it's always a, a super nice thing um, But it doesn't happen too often, but Be nice to your shop owners and managers Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I think we're gonna I mean as far as if we're rating um scale of one to ten I, I mean this is eight for me I think yeah. um, it's as far as a daily drinker I think it would be absolutely wonderful at that price point yeah solid eight great yeah. for a daily drinker and if we if you're just looking at in the $30 price point I mean this is top top 10 or 15 percent of them uh, for me I really Elijah Craig is always the one if people say what if anybody asks me what's your favorite bourbon the default answer is Elijah Craig. Now I love a lot of the barrel proofs, um, but even the uh, the small batch is just really, really good daily. Yeah, just phenomenal. So thanks for watching us today. Thank um, you. We're gonna do a few more videos, um, so be on the lookout, um, and we will see you soon. Awesome. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.